I think that might be left up to uh, Abby Weirer because right. they're both defensive specialists, Nicholson and Weirer. Well, we're underway at the snack pit in Cairns. Fourth versus fifth. A playoff dream on the line for Adelaide. Must win to keep it alive. Big, big matchup. Here's Heel on the attack. Shyla Heel to the rim. Can't finish and the ball goes to no, there, there might be a little bit of nerves in this you know to start with and you just got to run that out and then settle into your game and she'll make them the rest of those Adelaide coming in off a 10-point win over Bendigo the other night really got asked some questions by the winless spirit but they got through it and they're alive and kicking as they come into this one Talbot MVP candidate off the rim with her first look. Here's Hill on the hop. Nicholson, Talbot switches off. Brooke takes over. Step back, Nicholson, to open scoring. Nicholson is just so tough to guard, so tough. She's having an awesome season. Turnover for Ali Wilson. Here comes Mia Murray. No one guarding Murray as she looks at long range, can't knock it down. I'm not sure how that happens. You, you've got to get your rotations right. Complete defensive breakdown for the Lightning. Wilson can't roll it in off the rim. Looks like there's Gladrap on the ring for Adelaide at this stage. Heel on the attack. Bit of a shaky start for both teams. Weirung flips it to Wilson. The ball finds Talbot. Another look from long range. And you can't out. afford to go under screens on someone like Talbot. He struggled a little bit from range this season, Talbot. 29%, sub 30. It has been absolutely stuffing the stat sheet. Mackay off the feed, finishes at the cup. The beautiful feed. Beautiful pick and roll. Here's Weirung, bounces off Megan Mc... Getting into foul trouble quite a bit and has to get subbed out, and that's my worry for Townsville. Wilson needs to have a big game for Adelaide. Weirung can't hit from three, so they're having a little trouble getting going, Adelaide, at the offensive end. Townsville, meanwhile, up and a... Seven-zip start for Townsville. It'll be... All she wrote for Adelaide in terms of their finals hopes if they go down tonight. And they've fallen behind in the early going. Brock can't finish at the rim. They've had some good looks. Adelaide cannot open their account. Nicholson off the Mackay screen, wheeling, dealing, fading away. Kissing it off the glass. She just can do no wrong, and that, this will be a Chris Lucas. Oh, he's up there. He's definitely up there. I don't want to offend any coaches here. <laughs> They'll start messaging me. No, sit on the fence, <laughs> Michelle. Second year at the helm in Townsville, Seabomb. Adelaide trying to get going. Would have been fascinating to hear what Chris Lucas had to say to his charges in that huddle. Mackay bumping, grinding. Good defense from Tomlinson. That's why she's in the uh, And it, it's not very good. You've got to look. They're, they're just going to have to take it to the basket and try and make things happen inside because they're just pinging from outside is clearly not working for them. Weirung doing exactly that and she gets scoring underway for the Lightning. 9-2, almost four minutes into this big, big game in Cairns. Mackay hands off to Heel, rattles out, Talbot flies in for the board. Second in the league in rebounding, Steph Talbot. Tomlinson turns down the three-point look. Weirang doesn't want to, but will. She shouldn't hesitate there, though. Tomlinson wheeling and dealing. Oh, boy. Went all the way to the cup. Talbot, offensive hinge. And 
and she'll get some confidence after those two freebies. The margin's been cut down to five. Nicholson in That's in a great trouble. trap. Really good trap. Adelaide slip into a little zone. The defensive end. Gaze, Kate Gaze into the game for Townsville. She's open. Keel finds her. She'll knock it down. Well, she usually does. Mackay with the putback. Yeah, and Megan Mackay, she was free as a bird. She was jumping up and down, calling for it. Townsville have to see that. So we'll two-man game, Brooke and Talbot. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Talbot wants some more space to operate. Crosses up. Numbers coming all over Talbot and the turnover results. They actually play pretty well together, Talbot and Chelsea Brook. I feel like she's a real key for Adelaide tonight, Brook. Ten points a game for the 22-year-old, but when she plays big, Adelaide usually win. Keel calls for the ball screen from Mackay. Tacks down the middle of the lane and rolls it in. Good finish from Charlotte Hill. Beautiful finish, and she just has that little hesitation, makes makes the person guarding her stand upright, and then she attacks. We run right back at her. She should have got continuation there, Michelle. I think she should have. I just assumed. Nicholson wide open underneath. Contested by Whittle, Akuso with the offensive board. Well, I thought she travelled. And she takes advantage of the no call. 15-4 Townsville making a statement early, the fire. Whittle gets it back for Adelaide. New shot clock. Wilson trying to shake the best defensive player in the land. Finds Brooke, who knocks it in from the corner. And Chelsea Brooke is a very, very good three-point shooter. So so maybe, you know, they can look for her out there, having a big guarder. A little shaky there, Steph Reed. Ball finds Payne in the corner. Nicholson tracks down the offensive board. Reed resets for the fire off the Akuso screen. A little hezzy from Reed. Oh, wraparound pass. Akuso late in the shot clock. Wilson picks it off. Two on one for Adelaide. Wilson finds Talbot and she messes up the layup. Wow. Went with the left on the right. Got a little wrong footed Talbot. And Adelaide come up short. You don't see that very often, Talbot missing layups like that. Reed from long range. Bang! That's down for Steph Reed. Beautiful shot, and that's a bonus. You can sub Shyla Hill out, and then you've still got Steph Reed coming in. Look at the field goals from Adelaide. Now three from 13 as Wilson dimes up Brooke. High quality game we've got here in Cairns. Playoffs on the line. Reed again fools the defense with the hesit. As Reed knocks down her freebies, takes her tally to five, and puts the margin out to double figures. Wilson lets it fly from range, and we've got ourselves a wedgie. Another wedgie. <laughs> Whittle gets it underneath. Megan Mackay sends it away. Big block from Mackay at the hoop. Nicholson off the dribble. Oh, she is all class, Lauren Nicholson. She can do no wrong, and in my eyes, she will be up there for the MVP. Of the oh, she'll certainly be up there, Michelle. Will she get it? Or oh, you, you've got a person like Liz Cambage who might be up there as well. So, but, but I reckon they're my top two. Great pass from Reed in transition. Sets up Megan Mackay. 16-point lead to Townsville. Wilson thought it might be an offensive. Splits that pair. Adelaide 
into double figures. And they extend the pressure defensively. Reed handles it. Nicholson nearly loses it out of bounds. Single digits on the shot clock. Turnover for Townsville and Wilson. Again, splits that pair. Brooke Basham into the game for Adelaide, the rookie development player. There she is, finds Ortlip, launches it. Mackay takes it away for Townsville. Really nice box out from Kate Goes there. Early minutes for Basham. Michelle, does that take you by surprise? It does, but when you're down by 13 points and nothing seems to be going right for you, it's worth a try. Cuso wheeling and dealing and scoring in the lane. He could be going with the Jade Melbourne theory, you know, throw them out there and you never know what they can do. They need a finder on the arc, Basham. Five of eight on the season. Wilson loses the handle. Reed takes it away. That was an ugly possession from the Lightning. That was a really ugly possession from Ali Wilson. Reed, pull up, bucket, everything going right for Townsville. The favourite favorite for most improved player, you'd suggest, this season, Michelle. She'll be in the running for Youth Player of the Year as well. Yeah, and I, I thought she was very good last season with Bendigo too, but, but this season is just next level. Nicholson, off the pain pick. Making plays off the dribble. Wow, she's in her bag right now. Nicholson. Yeah, they, they just can't stop her. 11 points, 5 of 6 from the field. Adelaide execute their play for Whittle, but ends in a turnover. That possession before when we saw Alex Wilson put it behind the back and it went wayward. Then she put it through the legs and it went wayward. And just... You know, the pass is inside. It's not crisp, it's not clean. So it's a 19-point ball game. Almost a minute into the second quarter. With so much on the line. Adelaide now trailing by whew, 21. And that's the last thing Adelaide need is for Nadine Payne to get hot from outside. The toe was on the line, Payne, just a two-point field goal. With Adelaide come up empty. Wow, what a statement this has been from Townsville early doors. Nicholson, another bucket. Townsville on fire in Cairns. Yeah, and, and it's tough like, like to go into a zone to clog up that middle so Nicholson can't do that. Then, then they've got shooters from outside. They're, they've got the whole game, Townsville. Another turnover for the Lightning Gaze. Akuso, Nicholson. Oh boy, timeout. Whatever she wants offensively, and it's a 12 zip run to the fire. And you've got the fire extending their D now. They're just relentless. They're not giving a break. They don't want Adelaide to get a sniff of this at all. Talbot, can she get herself going? Rattles it in from long range. Oh man, they needed that one. Certainly did. Just one from four from outside now, Talbot. Akuso wants it down low. And that's why. It actually looked like they may have almost been boxing one in Nicholson. We'll have a look next time down the floor. Talbot on Nicholson. The ball swings, finds Weirung, pull up, comes off the rim. Payne takes it away, and the foul called on the well. It's a 24 point margin. And that's a pretty good statement they're making. A couple of minutes into the second term. Who's so if you have a look at Abby Wirung, she's just face guarding Nicholson. They, uh, that's a full denial. They don't want her to get the ball. Late in the shot clock, Heel needs to let it fly. Does so off the dribble. Heads up, hey, from Shiley Heel. <laughs> it's a beautiful play. 
missed every last second of the shot clock and got exactly what she wanted. Tomlinson rips, finds Talbot. Nicholson can't, not giving her any space. Offensive foul on Tomlinson. So they're fronting up against the Boomers next uh, next Sunday, Townsville, and I, I think they had both. But they have the best D in the league, both those teams. It'll be an interesting game. Nicholson to the cup, can't finish. Adelaide take it, 40 to 14. My head is spinning with this start by Townsville. We run, cuts into the margin. Heel, oh wow, flips it up, wrong footed. Here comes Wira, she's trying to get Adelaide going. Tomlinson has another look at it. Portlip does likewise on the attack. Skip, skip, Talbot for three. In and out. There's was nice ball movement, but they just can't get that score. And the whistle blown from the official. So nothing up the floor from Adelaide. They are in that box and one still you spoke about. Nicholson just spacing out into the corner. We're on face guarding. And Mia Murray taking advantage on the strong side. And as Mia Murray was taking that shot, you should have seen how hard Nicholson went to get that board. And that's the eighth turnover on the night already from Adelaide. Bat and that wasn't even a good feed, though, from Badish from outside. Like, the pass was wayward. There was no chance Talbot could get that. Nicholson again, spacing out in the corner, letting her teammates operate in space, getting on the glass, keeping it alive, finding a way to contribute despite the extra defensive attention. Steph Reed! Oh boy, getting right to the rim and scoring off the glass. That's a beautiful move. Whittle, oh, nifty move off the dribble from Whittle. Doesn't have the touch on the finish, wins it back for Adelaide. Midway through this second term, Weirung trying to make something happen and does. You'd love the endeavour from Abby Weirung at both ends of the floor. Yeah, and, and she's probably holding Adelaide up at this stage. Reed open on the arc. Forty-five to eighteen. Here comes Brooke from long range. That's way off. Mackay juggles the board. And that's Touchdown pass. Happens. I just say how good Chelsea Brook shoots from outside. Who is all up in her stuff? Most possessions up the floor. Here's the fire. Extend the pressure. Talbot with the double, Tal uh, sorry, Nicholson with the double, Tal Talbot gets out of it. Here comes Weira, staggered ball screen. They've got Brooke on the flare, she's open. She can't hit it. Two from 13 from long range now, Adelaide. Yeah, 15%, they're going to have to go inside more. They can't just keep relying on that three. Mackay, seals. Spins, steps through, can't finish. Whittle takes it. Here come Adelaide. Can they cut into this margin prior to half time? Give them something to work on after the break. Brooke, not her comfort zone off the dribble, and the turnover eventuates. So the frustration builds for Adelaide. Oh, Payne got away with it. Yeah, it was a little bit of a drag of that pivot foot. Retest the defense. Nicholson curling. Finds Mackay down low. Great seal from Megan Mackay. And she cashes in off the board. She's 
She's in double figures, Mackay. Second leading scorer for Townsville behind Nicholson, who has 15. Brooke can't make it happen, and here comes Nicholson. Townsville all over Adelaide in this opening half. It's a 29-point margin. Whittle, a little Bob Cousy-esque. Really not a good display from them. Ali Wilson heads to the score table. She'll come into the game next chance. We run continuing tonight, but really over the course of the entire regular season. Yeah, and deservedly so. They, they've played some good ball. They had one hiccup against Perth, but they've played some awesome ball, and they really, really deserve that final spot. High low pain to Akuso. Well guarded down low from Talbot. She comes up with it. Pick comes from Carly Smith. Now she's open and she scores underneath. Instant impact off the bench from Carly Smith. Yeah, and that's a bit that's a bit better. They're working together, set that pick and then uh, look for her on the cut under the basket. Heel working off a of Cuso, skips it to Payne, and a stop for Adelaide. So, a couple of positive possessions for the Lightning here as we wind down the final minute of the second quarter. And they finish the half on a high. The Lightning Whittle skips it to Smith, five on the shot clock. They need to let it fly. Ortlip does that and back rims it. A 12 second differential. Ten on the shot clock now for Townsville. Here's Reed, guarded by Talbot. Akuso has it. Flips it back out to Reed. Finds Payne. What a beautiful pass, but she can't finish. Ten on the clock for Adelaide. Talbot has it. What can she muster up to finish the second quarter? Gets rid of it, Talbot. Wants it back, gets it back and misses the turnaround. So it did her to get going in this second half. Run away in the third quarter at the Cairns Pop-Up Arena, affectionately known as the Snag Pit. Adelaide open with a turnover. I really like Snag Pit, by the You're way. You're on board? Yeah, I'm on board. Good to have I'm you board. on deck. We, we spoke to the Cairns Councillor, Max O'Halloran, in the previous game. Michelle, and he's on board. Yeah, he did like it too, didn't he? <laughs> so the entrance to this building, when you used to come in that front door, you'd always have just put a snag away. Another turnover, two straight turnovers for Adelaide to begin the second half. Nicholson, Mackay, one-on-one -on -one with Brooke. Steps through, can't finish with the left. Gets it back though, Mackay. Boy, she plays so hard. Yeah, that was a tough board from her. She just, she's just a workhorse. Heel can't hit the one foot runner. <laughs> Ellie Wilson kind of lacking her usual aggression at the moment. We run slot. Taking a backward step though. She's in a double figures. We're on. The team leading scorer for the Lightning. Kick, kick for Townsville. Payne in the corner is good. And do you know how many times they've done that kick, kick to the free person in the corner? They just find that open man so well, Townsville. Talbot finds Whittle rolling to the rim and she kisses it off the glass. And that's what Adelaide need. They need a bit more of that. And less of that. Less, much less of that. You know, you got to talk on D. Great execution from Townsville. As they find Mackay rolling to the rim, having herself a night, Megan Mackay. 
The problem I'm seeing with Adelaide, every time they're scoring, it, it's so hard. They're working so hard, whereas Townsville look like they're doing it just so easily when they score. And again, Mackay, back-to-back -back buckets. She's got 14 and 6. Yet another. They're just relentless. They are not giving up. They, they are just keeping at them. Field goal differential. Not there for Adelaide right now. Here comes Mackay, sets the pick for Nicholson. Heel has Weira, wants to go to work. Between the legs, crosses it back. Lefty, Talbot sends it out of bounds. Heel needs to make a play, get it up. Shot clock, beat her to the job. And get a score and just get another stop. Bring it back to basics and see if they can chip away at this lead. Coach Gubbles, get her into the huddle. Here comes Wilson. Jeez, the handle is all over the shot. The 12 turnovers, and they you just get the feeling the next one's around the corner. Not when we run's got it though. That's 13 on the night now for Weirong, two more than her season average. We're three and a half minutes into the third term. The one shining light for Adelaide. Hanging a little tougher in this, the first few minutes of this third term though. Adelaide, despite the turnovers, body's crashing everywhere. Shoulder, keep an eye on that. She chases Nicholson off some picks. Here is Nicholson. Payne's wide open on the pop. And in and out. Megan Mackay, yet another rebound. Adelaide finally clear it. Here comes Weira. Adelaide's leading scorer on the night. Feeling good. Wilson hits the deck. Smith nearly throws it away. Wilson lets it fly and it's down. Ali Wilson with the three-point hit. Nice shot, but they had to work so hard for that. It was messy, but they got there in the end. Payne on the drive, off the glass. That's a nice soft touch. She's been pretty impressive this season too, Nadine Payne. Put up 11 and 8 last game, Payne. Megan Mackay again with her hands in. She's everywhere right now. Wilson has another look from range. It's off. Heel wheeling and dealing off the dribble, splashes the three. Here we go, Liam. She's off and running. Second half, Shyla. She's got six now, Heel. Five boards to go with it. Ortlip can't respond. So just when Adelaide were hanging tough, on the verge of getting blown back out, Mackay, once again, scores down low. She's the game-leading scorer now with 16. To me, it just looks like Adelaide's just waving the white flag a bit. Of the fire, as you said, Michelle, extended during the week by the fire front office. Clearly very happy with his work this season. Getting his squad ready for a tilt at the title. Here's Reed. Reed, Gaze, and Akuso all in off the bench. Reed open on the arc, and she makes it count. And Reed has just been great when she, she's come in tonight. She's got 12 Reed, four of five from the field. 9 0 run for Townsville, and a turnover from the Lightning. Here comes Nicholson. Finds Reed, don't tell me. Oh boy, Steph Reed feeling it. That's so good to see. 
She's got 15 now, Reed. A season, an equal season high for her. Tomlinson puts it back, knocks Nicholson to the hardwood. And what a time for Steph Reed to do it right before finals. Signed with Townsville after two years with Southside, seeking greater opportunities. Nicholson scoring underneath. And that's just too easy. So he'd be going for coach of the year too, do you think? Well, does he get it? I'm a, I'm a yes. Yeah, I'm right there with you. They're going to have a big night when the awards get handed out. Whittle can't finish underneath. It was a good pass that set her up. Nicholson, here she comes again. Hezzy left off the glass, doing everything right. Lauren Nicholson. Much needed score for Townsville by a Whittle. Here comes Reed. Oh, stolen from Wilson. She read that like a cheap novel and she finishes down the other end. And so Lauren Jackson has tweeted that Steph Reed reminds her of Debbie Black now. For Debbie Black in the old days she played uh she played down in tassie and and she was just that dogged defense and Ooh. goodness me could pretty much do a beginning to do a little bit more to post up the small guards of the townsville fire it's a 31 point margin a minute and a half outside from three-quarter time whittle steps back and frames the triple out of the timeout Big time hit from Whittle. Yeah, if you're that close to the three-point line, you may as well step outside it. <laughs> Talbot picks off Reed's pass. Wilson kicks it to Whittle. And she gets right to the cut, Marina Whittle. So five quick, quick points from Whittle out of the timeout for Adelaide. Wilson picks off Reed's pass. A couple of turnovers in a row from Reed. Wilson can't finish. I think there might be a timeout for Shannon Seabom here. Just just got a little bit messy. So Whittle again. In up the floor and, and you get that physicality and the momentum. It translates to your offensive game. Brooke Basham crawling into Steph Reed in the backcourt. Switching D from Adelaide on the perimeter. And Carly Smith takes it from Akuso. Here come the Lightning. Talbot, mid-range, pull up, bucket. 13 zip run to the Lightning. This is good to see. Townsville is desperately trying to get to three-quarter time. All of a sudden, there's a pep in Adelaide step. Reed, Mackay. Reed kicks it out to Kate Gaze, and the 40% three-point shooter can't connect. That was great ball movement too. Steph Reed could have shot that in the within the three-point line, but she passed it out to Kate Gaze. On the half-time buzzer. Oh wow! I mentioned it much since, but if you're joining us late, it's Mia Murray's 300th, the three-time champ, former Grand Final MVP, and the big celebrations, the presentations as Heel gets to the free throw there i think that there's a, a facebook group and okay. yeah <laughs> clearly i'm not a, a WNBL life member yet 250 <laughs> games and it gets into the facebook group <laughs> See if you can track us down a screenshot at some stage michelle here's carly smith Talbot calls for the Smith pick. On the attack, Talbot. Heel comes across, but Steph Talbot, good enough. So an early bucket from Adelaide in this fourth quarter. And cut the margin back to 25. Payne off the heel, fine. Too strong. Smith coming in and having a little impact. 
So all this talk about the awards, the actual awards function is on Monday. So we can put this all to bed, Liam, and see where, whether we're right. Here's Basham, backs up, operates on Nadine Payne. Smith pops out for three. We need some of those to go down, Adelaide. If they can, they're not going to win the game from here, Michelle, but in order to make this scoreline a little bit more respectable. Nicholson, good defense from Marina Whittle. And, I mean, a big, big game on Sunday. Yeah, and, and look, they've, they've got this in the bag. So so if it was me, I would. But um, clearly, I'm not Shannon Seaborn. So, I, yeah, but I, I just don't see the point running your main players into the ground now. Yeah, another turnover. The night. Because you look at, uh, like, Nicholson's played 27 minutes. Uh, Nadine Payne's played 27 minutes. So so maybe, you know, they could get them out for, for a bit of a rest. It's a fine balancing act, isn't it? Because the confidence that the group gets from a, you know, a dominant win like this. Nicholson absolutely flowing offensively. She's got 21. Yeah, and as we saw in the, in the last game, um, Guy Malloy did put his bench in, then got a little bit worried and was going to get, like, Ezzy battered. Um, like, Kayla George hardly played at all. I think she played, like, 15 minutes, if that. So um, it'll be interesting to see the battle and if Townsville will have the legs on Sunday. Heel for three. Here comes Talbot in transition. In attack mode, pulls up. Finds Brooke. She was wrapped up down low by Shyla Hurst, the recently retired six-type champ. Hurst, now the brains trust for the Lightning. Yeah, and we heard uh, very early in the season Chris Lucas was a big rap and thinks that Nat Hurst will be a WNBL coach and will make a very good one. Hill, Mackay, Woods, Bucket. That inside outside action just is a killer. Woods up to six now. She's knocked down two from long range. Adelaide with their 17th turnover of the night. Yeah, you're not going to win many games with 17 turnovers. Mackay going to work down low, gets to the free throw. Four years at St Mary's for Mackay. She played one year in Germany and really has been terrific But Shannon Seabom and this fire squad and has a big future ahead of her. As does Taylor Ortlup. The youngsters shining in the Chemist Warehouse WNBL this season. Yeah, she's played some good minutes for Adelaide. Really good minutes. Heel and one finish to the rim. Has 17 and Steph Reed with 15 off the bench. Yeah, and sometimes it's okay to play that support role um, and she's doing it well. Great back cut from We Run. She finishes at the cup. And she's been pretty impressive, We Run. She's now at 15 points. Mackay again down low. She's got a season high in the decision to let her roll. She's having a career night as far as her WNBL career is concerned. A season high in 19, working on a double double. And if he can help to build her confidence down the stretch here as Ortland splashes another three. Ahead of the finals, that can only pay dividends. Yeah, uh, yeah, I agree as well. I think that's a good move. Here's Murray, waits for Mackay to set the pick, lets it fly from Ranger. Oh, Mia Murray from downtown. She said, happy 300th to me. <laughs> I think I'll take that.
Funky possession for the Lightning, and Mackay blocks Tomlinson at the rim. Here's Steph Reed in transition. Shows it, spins, scores it. When things are going right, they're really going right. She, she's so impressive tonight, Steph Reed. She's got a season high of her own, Steph Reed. 17 points off the bench. What an enormous impact she's had. Six of seven from the field. It's pretty nice shooting. So we're inside the final four minutes in Cairns. What was billed as a game with enormous playoff implications has become a showcase from the Townsville Fire as they lock themselves inside the top four and maintain an opportunity at a top two finish. Oh, off the bat, off the board. Oh, banged. sorry, it was bat. Was that Badish? Badish. Okay. Badish banked it. That was Badish. <laughs> At a DMP on Wednesday night, Badish comes in and knocks that down. Oh, caught Woods. It was raining before, and now it's pouring for the fire. Frustrating night for Adelaide coming to an end. Yeah, that, they'll just want these last three minutes to go quickly, I think. Here's Steph Reed. Finds pain underneath. Oh, pain misses a bunny. Weirer kicks it to Smith in the corner. Comes off the rim. Morgan Jaeger in for Adelaide. Oh, that was a hard hit. She ran into a brick wall. Three seconds on the shot clock. Smith launches it. Hard off the front of the rim. Jaeger all over it. Gets it back. Here is Jaeger, attacks, loses it out of bounds. Got your game and, th and then come back. Um, and, and that's a certain pathway, and, and it's a good pathway for a lot of players. Smith picks off the pass from Kate Gaze, launches it from mid-range. Kuso swallows it up. So a 32-point margin for Townsville. A minute and a half remaining in the fourth quarter in Cairns. It's been a dominant display by the fire. Gaze, Akuso. Jaeger takes it for the lightning. Spinning in transition. Jaeger oh, shows a little something, something off the bench. Oh. They combine for less than 20 uh, together. And what six from 22 from the field? Look, the shining light for Adelaide has been wear on, I think. And, and Marina Whittle put in some good minutes there, but, but she, we, she probably did. Well, they haven't needed a lot of Akuso tonight, have they, with Megan Mackay in such dominant form? No, and, and that's the luxury they have. All right, so Akuso's not firing, they've got Megan Murray firing, or they've got Nadine Payne firing in their. Um, front court. Whittle with a corner three. She's had a pretty good night, Marina Whittle. She's got 14. One shy of her season high. I can't help it. I just really wanted that to go down for Steph Reed. <laughs> I really did. She's had a big night, hasn't she? We were yeah. Can't finish. The shot clock turned off. They could just dribble it out. Townsville. One last offensive possession. 
three wheels and deals off Akuso. Of Woods lets it fly, and that is the cherry. Oh. As time winds down in Cairns, and Townsville take a big, big win. It's the Fire 90.